Alright, what's going on guys, Mr. Clash here, welcome back to another Clash of Clans gameplay commentary and today is the war recap we had against 208 POC, so this clan was actually pretty tough, so before we start the war, I um, just want to say thank you to FSUATL, 3H2O, and Havoc Gaming, that was a pretty awesome collab we did, so um, if you guys are new to my channel, um, thank you, you know, for being here and everything, so Anyway, let's start with the video. So after the war, um, a lot of people left, and this was, I don't know what to say, but this was a hectic war. So um, it came down to the last few seconds, and you guys will see that towards the very end. So this first raid is by Stradbite. Looks like he is using a combination of Go Wipe and Go Wee, -wee and he sent his golems and put a rage spell right inside the core. Unfortunately, there are wizards that will destroy a good amount of health from the golems and I think he drops his rage um, his second rage pretty soon um, now he did use his ability you know his king ability right there and that's the only kind of not a bad thing but I would have actually just waited for the king's ability um, because he could have got a three star if he would have saved the king's ability so but this raid does come very very close to a three star so I would have definitely saved my um, iron iron fist from the king it would have been like right there when the tesla was shooting that could have been a pretty big potential to use the ability there but anyway a very good raid by strat so these bases we were going against were in too tough and i think it was bullseye he actually is not in our clan anymore um he goes to different clans but he does help us and know us you know he knows us so he was in this war and he told me about the mirror strategy and I've heard it before and I've never really tried in my clan and this is the first actually kind of yeah this is the first time we used it in war so um, it's ba if you guys don't know what a mirror attack is it's basically when you when you're a number let's say 10 in clan you know when you do a clan wars you're gonna go against the opposite number 10 and actually everybody did a very good job there wasn't a base that got one starred everybody was either two st actually there were, I think, one or two bases that were one starred, and part of them was my fault. Um, all the bases bases should have been two starred, but unfortunately, my stupid troops go on the outside. Uh, unfortunately, I don't show the raid, but it was very unfortunate. I mean, uh, probably an anti goi base because I carried goi. But anyway, this second raid is by Liam on T two eight P O C, the clan. That's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah. So once the dragons took out all the de air defenses and I think, I mean, Archer Towers don't do too much damage, but if there's like three or four Archer Towers shooting on a dragon, it will do significant damage. But it, once you're, once the air defenses are gone from the base, it's just a matter of time with the dragons. So very good job to Liam. Um, that was a nice three star. So that was a mirror attack. And this is my attack. So this was pretty late in war and um let's see yeah it was late in war and we were trying to clean up um all the bases so this player was one start and i'm actually very bad at go wipe honestly i'm not very good in go wipe and because i don't go wipe you know 24 7 up in champs i usually farm with barch um but i do use go wipe and go wee a lot and i usually tend to usually two star players for some reason i can't get three stars it's probably because of my um, spell placement and everything so Anyway, there was that giant bomb that destroyed two of my wizards. And it looks like the wizards do get inside the core because of the jump spell. And so does the golem. So, I mean, my raid wasn't totally bad. But it should have been a three star from this player. I mean, this player carry wasn't even that good. So, kind of pathetic raid for me. But hey, I'll take an extra star from this. So, he was already a one star. And there we go. I earned my clan an extra star. So... This was actually not very late in war, but pretty late, and this was just a really, really close war throughout the whole, whole war. I mean, honestly, there wasn't a point where we were going to totally win it, but um, I'm going to tell you guys that their leader attacked within the 10 seconds left of Clan Wars, and we were actually winning. It was 46 to 45, and here we go. So Steven Main was already one start, and he was one of the only players that got one start. I'm actually changing my war base because their leader, um, Riz, I think it was, attacked my base. He demolished me. So here we go. Their leader attacked within 10 seconds left. And I was actually had to go somewhere. And I was watching this raid in the middle of the raid. 
um, I lost connection because I had to switch to 3G so I had to log out of Clash put 3G on and log back in and you know that takes time it's not like a two second you know kind of period so I was watching this raid and this was just crazy so what this player would have done Riz was their leader he needed a three star to win this war by one star yes a three star and you guys will see how extremely close this player gets to getting three stars so we we're all just watching and praying that he wasn't gonna get three star from here I was like well um, he's got three Pekka's alive and his queen and you know a couple of witches and a couple of wizards and I'm just going like well it's probably gonna be a three star so GG you know everybody was going like GG war and stuff um, GG means good game or good yeah so at this point I thought we were gonna lose the war I mean look at this he's got a queen a Pekka, skeletons, another giant. I mean, he's, and there's only a couple defenses left. And I was just going like, well, um, this is not good. So the cannon was doing a lot of damage. Now the cannon focused on the Pekka. And honestly, if the Pekka had more life left and the queen had um, her ability, it would have been a three star and would have lost by one star. So very, very close raid. Unfortunately, Riz couldn't get the three star in us. So he did not get the extra two stars he needed to get his clan up. So it turns out that this war was, as you guys will see in a second, very, very close. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this recap. Um, it was 46 to 46. It was intense. And we're going to do a war later this Friday. So good job to my clan. It was a 20 versus 20 war. So anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you could smash 40 likes, that would be awesome. And again, good job to everybody that attacked in war. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.